All right. <sighs> Unmuting. Let's go ahead and boop. All right. So, gonna get started on Victory Road. Might uh, do a lap or two. It's about time. <laughs> yeah, don't know if I'm gonna start on the Pokemon League today, but eh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Currently, everybody's in the 40s. Let's see, I believe... Yeah. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and register the bicycle. All right. We've already done the badge checks. So now it's just a matter of actually going through Victory Road. Psyduck. Psyduck? Psyduck. Hi. Back. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Here we go, Victory Road. Victory. Uh, let's see. As I recall, there are indeed a bunch of uh, strength puzzles. I'm surprised nobody else has come in here yet. Me too. Eh, uh, they're probably preoccupied with a couple of things. Maybe. It is, it is Christmas Eve, after all. Uh, tomorrow is, technically. Oh. <laughs> so, so today it's Christmas okay. Eve Eve. Who cares? Who cares? That's right, yeah. Okay, so I gotta move this one. Zap. Ah. Onyx, this would be very bad for Don Gun, so I'm going to switch. Uh, let's switch over to Platinum.
Oh, we never did catch an onyx. Huh. I think it's about time we change that. Uh -huh. I want to conserve my Ultra Balls. I only have five of them right now, so... Yeah, the Great Balls are not proving very effective. Uh, you know what? I might give up on this. There's plenty of other Onyx in this game, so... In this... area. Scott. Mac. Uh, thinking about it in this area, I might want to put Genbu in the lead, actually. At least for now. Because there is a lot of rock and ground type Pokemon. Go. Uh, surf. Watch up. I wonder if you're good enough for me. Lady, we just met. And besides, I'm already spoken for. A Persian. Kitty. Hmm. Wet cat. I don't kind of... Ponyta? Yeah, no, totally Genbu's. Ooh. 
Surf. Hey, it's that it's what Cindy will become at some point. Yep. Uh, Vulpix. I'm guessing by that logic, after I beat this Vulpix, she has a nine tails. Quite possibly. Because sometimes people see patterns. Yep, sure enough. <laughs> We're just here for your planet. Although, if I had to guess, I'm the pretty one. Yeah, six out of ten. You sassy bitch. That would make you no doubt the one with the weird powers. I could spawn mini-me's! Spectacular. And that makes you no doubt the big, tough, stupid one. You take that back or I'll kill you! Alright, right, you're not tough. That's better. Didn't you yeah, just... Didn't get from there. Hey! <laughs> I'd love that line. Hey! You son of a bitch! <laughs> Alright, uh... What's the line of that movie? Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, I forgot about this bit. Um... Well, after I beat the Onyx. Um... The thing is, uh, in order to access one of these items, I, I basically have to block off the other one. And I forget if this boulder gets reset when you leave. I would assume it does, but, you know, just to be safe. I'm also trying to remember specifically which items these are, but I remember them both being pretty good. Eh, uh, let's play around with save states to find out. TMO2 with Dragon Claw. Okay. And a rare candy. Hmm. Okay. Is there anybody on the team who can learn Dragon Claw? Because we've had a lot of instances where we thought somebody could learn a move, and it turns out they don't. Nobody on this team can learn a move. Rare candy it is. I think I've got a couple of rare candies now, actually, so... Alright, uh... Surf. I'ma surf this turf. So now I can go for a surf and turf. I need to go back to that restaurant. Uh, it's not too far from where I live. It's just I've been that I haven't been there in so long. But I remember them having a really good surf and turf burger. Platinum trying to learn detect. Uh, nah. Oh, 
Oh, right. Which one is it right, uh, right now that has the amulet coin? Uh, I think I gave it to Dungun. Yep, I gave it to Dungun. Uh, bite. <laughs> Take those teeth and bite me. Wet rat. I want so <laughs> I don't know if it's been done already, but I want somebody to take the Raticate model from Pokemon Stadium, just rotate it around and have like Freebird playing in the background. Uh Ivysaur, I think this would be a good one for Kalani to take to um, engage. Uh, psychic. Milikilikimaka. War turtle. Uh, yes, let's change over to Dungon, mainly to get the amulet coin bonus. And thunder. And it hits. I've gotten Thunder to hit surprisingly often. I don't know if that's bullshit no jutsu, or if I'm just, you know... Thunder Wave. And let's get rid of Pin Missile. Pin Missile has not quite proven to be the best. Charmeleon, I think I'll switch back out to Genbu. Although I do need to heal him when I get the chance. Uh, surf. And a Charizard. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's see super potion to heal Dongan another to heal platinum uh, a couple to heal Genbu And let's get a Paralyze heal on Platinum. I believe I've got a couple to spare. I've got one. Okay. 
I do have a Carbos and a PP up. I think I'll use a PP up on Genbu's Hydro Cannon. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hello? Somebody here? I thought some. I thought somebody came in. Ah. All right. Uh. A geo dude. Uh, just keep moving around. Ah. Survive that. Also, I forgot Arba could learn stockpile. or lepa berries. I do have a lepa berry. I will give that to Genbu for surf. This here is Victory Road. It's the final test for trainers. Black Belt Daisuke. Cannon. Nice. Uh, Machop, let's switch to Dongan, get that amulet coin bonus. Yeah. Uh, thunder. 100% accuracy. Booyah! And a machoke.
And Platinum is now level 45. Nice. Macho! Macho man. Alright, what's this one over here? TM-37 contains Sandstorm. Oops. <sighs> so you work in the night or are you off? Uh, it's an evening shift, thankfully. Mm. Just like normal. <laughs> yeah. Better than the original plan, where it was going to be another double shift. So you had, you had double shift yesterday? Uh, not quite, but close enough. Oh, so it was an extended shift. Yeah. Uh, I was able to get off work at about, uh, 10. And while I was waiting for midnight to roll around so that my co-workers could do closing, uh, I went and got myself some silver diner. Oh, cool. Yeah. They make some of the best milkshakes, man. Oh. I had a bacon blue cheeseburger, and then I washed it down with a pumpkin spice. It was it was the seasonal flavor milkshake they had. Uh, vital throw. I'm trying to remember the gimmick to that one. Something about it always being a crit. <coughs> ah, so you wish to tell it to Elite Four. <laughs> no, it just knows better. <laughs> a drowsy. Well, good thing Genbu has bite. Jump. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. <laughs> Tried to use swagger. It missed. Uh, Hypno. I never did get how Hypno was able to learn poison gas. How, hip how Hypno can learn poison gas? Yeah. I don't know. Hey, Genbu's level 48. That was a pretty good conversation in the freaking Kingdom Hearts channel, though. Yeah. yeah. I tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you. Start, I'll tell you what. It did start going into a little bit of uh, Final Fantasy at the end. Uh, I should have a... This might be a good place for that full restore. So you said either so or either Sabin or Kefka? Yeah. I don't actually know who Sabin is, so... Um, wow. so he's the one in the Final Fantasy VI meme about a uh, motherfucker suplex a train. Oh, so he's the, he's the martial artist. Yep. Basically, the way his ability works is uh, he has blitz techniques. Uh, you select the blitz command, and then you input some uh, commands, like you're inputting a move in Street Fighter. Okay. And... So and I, I, oh, sorry. Well, and depending on what you input, different things happen. Like, 
he basically fires a Kamehameha, or he does the suplex. Suplex the train! Motherfucker suplex the train! <laughs> so, what, what would be your pick from Final Fantasy 4? Final Fantasy 4? Yeah. Mine would either be Cecil or Kane. <laughs> It would be either Cecil, Kane, or Rosa. Rosa? What about yeah. Golbez? Golbez would definitely be the, the bad guy thrown in from Final Fantasy IV. Because <laughs> he's like the main bad guy. No, he's not. Well, he's the one you're fighting against a lot. He's not, he's not the final bad guy, he's the main bad guy. He's literally Cecil's brother. Golbez? Yeah! And you fight him! A lot! Exactly, I know! But he's not... But he, tur but he turns at the end! He turns at the end, yes! But in the meantime, you fight him a lot! And then you're fighting... And then you're fighting to say the Void! <laughs> <laughs> Chomp. Oh, right! It's like, it's like Gobez isn't isn't the final the final boss of it's, it's like Gobez isn't the final boss of Final Fantasy IV. No no no, I I didn't <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say he was the final boss. I said he was the main bad guy. It's, it's like it's like Gobez ain't the main bad guy. X Death is <laughs> becomes the Void. I think you're confusing four with five. I'm trying to make a joke here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, over this way. Also turned on, uh, CoCom feed. A joke that clearly did not go very well. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason that one band was called Led Zeppelin. Because they thought it would go down like a lead balloon. Let the captain go down with his ship. <laughs> well, fun fact, it, uh, I believe according to Mythbusters, at least, it turns out if you use lead foil, you actually can make a lead balloon, and you can actually make it float. For a while. Until it gives out. Until it gives out, which, yeah, it turns out lead foil is relatively brittle. No, I never mess with lead foil. Sounds toxic. Lead foil? <laughs> like, like, it's safe to work with and everything like that. I just wouldn't use it the same way I would use aluminum foil. Oh. Hi, Drake. Hey. Hello. Hey, how you doing? You're wondering when somebody was going to show up. I uh, was busy with like, Din stuff. Oh, somebody else hopping? Embezzo, yeah. hey! Uh, is Koki hopping in too, or is she just sticking in my... Oh, there, there she goes, she left my servers. We see. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Mr. Mime. Mime, Mime. Mr. Mime. Mime? Mime, Mime, Mime. All right, let's see. Do do do. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure Nemo's where they got that joke from. Yeah. Yeah. TM07 contains hail. Oh, Lord Freezing, you're my day. Ooh, 
Right, I forgot to give a Carbos. Um... I think I'll give one to Bolin. I might have to switch uh, Genbu out of the lead because he's getting a little, uh... He's getting a little tired out. Just a beat? Just a beat. Just a little bit. He's getting better. <laughs> Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. What's that, then? I've had worse. You will lie. Come on, ya pansy! Uh, right, before we go any further, I think I'll go ahead and switch Platinum to the lead. Tamer! Tamer Vincent! This cat is gonna drive me the fucking drink. Is it just me, to, or did it look like he had like an ice cream or something? Yeah, it, do, it does look lollipop. like... It does look like it a lollipop, but I think it's supposed to be one of those things you use... you wave around to get an animal's attention. I mean, given the fact that it's a tamer, I figured it was a lollipop anyway, sort of like to represent, oh, okay, behaving well, here's a treat. <laughs> that could also be the case. Alright, Platinum is now level 46. Golduck. Wouldn't that more be a dentist thing? Shoot, you're right. Only if the lollipop is sugar-free. <laughs> The Nicky Z. Uh, thank you for following the stream. You so brought up an interesting idea. What? Pokemon, but it's a nature show with David Attenborough. <laughs> I would, I would pay to see that. I still Same. like the. I still like that video Ego Raptor did a while back where what was it? It's supposed to be a documentary on like all the baby Pokemon and they had one section for the Bulbasaurs, one section for the Squirtles, and the announcer's like, Now let's see how the Charmander family is doing. And then you just see a house on fire. Whoop. Well, that happened. Oh! Oh my god! Ah, ah. Yeah, see, that was basically one of those stereotypical, you know, swirly lollipops. Kind of like the ones you see in Kirby. It's like one of those yeah. generic ones, yeah. Prejudum! I've, I've actually had a lollipop like that before. Like the swirly, the swirly kind? Yeah, the big swirly kind. Not as good as you think. Yeah, because the whole thing is you're supposed to lick it. A lot. And I don't like to lick my food. I bite my food. I never made it without biting. Ask Mr. Owl. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The thing is, I did. I, as like a 12 year old, I did. And it turned me off of licking my food ever again. I, I'm the same with ice cream. I'm like, why? Like the ice cream, oh, yeah. just bite it. If if I bite ever bite it and deal, bite I, and deal with the ice cream headache. Yeah. If cowards. If, if I if I ever lick the ice cream, it's to like make it less likely to leave a mess. Yeah. I. Ooh, executor. Uh, I. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, I just realized. Funny, here's Do a funny thing. As a kid, I was never allowed gum because I would just swallow it. I would, like, once I was done chewing with it, I would just swallow it. It was like, why would you make food that you aren't allowed to swallow? Yeah. And then there's that old wives' tale about how it stays in your stomach for like six months or something. Yeah. That, that was also a reason why I wasn't allowed gum, because my mom is very superstitious. Goddamn superstition. Very superstitious. Uh, I think some superstitions are, are like, okay, for like, you know, safety. Some superstitions are kind of based on fact. Some are completely absurd, like... The Korean superstition that if you have a fan on while you sleep, it sucks out your soul. Wait, Where what? did that come from? Wait, what? It came from uh, parents who didn't want to, you know, drive up the uh, electricity bill. So they told that to scare their kids. I don't know. It's probably the Wait, same what? kind. It's the same kind of mindset that gave rise to a superstition, I think, in Greece or somewhere in Europe, that if you show a baby to a mirror before they turn one year old, it would suck their soul. <laughs> Something weird like that. I mean, I'm just basing my joke one off of uh, off of the origins of that one. Um, oh shit, I forget what the I forget what the yokai is called, but it's like the the woman that has like barbs for hair, and it'll chase like oh. it'll chase you back. Oh, yeah, because apparently that got its start because parents were basically trying to warn their sons about bringing strange women home. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's kind of where I was getting mine from. Just one of one of the few yokai with an actual like moralistic lesson. Usually, usually those fuckers are just like a hey, "don't be in the wrong place" kind of kind of thing. That one has an actual lesson to it. I remember seeing uh, people read the, oh god, what was it, that station uh, story for Japan. I think that one was the Kuchisake Ona story? No, the, the station one is like uh, the train of the dead bringing you to the afterlife. Oh. And they're being like, what more is the lesson here? It's like, I mean, there really isn't. Japan doesn't really do lessons for their scary stories. It's just a, you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Shit sucks. Are you dead? I mean, sometimes bad things just happen. Yeah, bad things? Yeah, sometimes bad things just happen. There isn't always a lesson. The, the girl got on the wrong train, and now she's dead. That's all that happened. never really in and it's honestly i find it a bit better because yeah if monsters existed you think they would just be going after a singular group they'd be going after anyone like why why would a monster care if you're a good person or a bad person you're just a snack either pretty way. much uh sand slash i think I can afford to let Kelani use a uh, solar beam. In the middle of a dark cave. <laughs> oh, it's banking on the sand attack. And it failed. Because Solar Beam hit. Bacon <laughs> and beer. Now that is bullshit no jutsu in action. You guys ever, you guys ever had a, like a bacon flavored beer? I've never actually had it, but that does sound interesting. Well, I don't drink alcohol, but I have heard of the bacon beer. I've... I've heard of bacon flavored beer. I've heard of a bacon flavored soda. What? That's a thing. I mean, so many bacon things exist. I I'm not even surprised. I wouldn't be surprised uh, if somebody 
I wouldn't be surprised if somebody recreated the Bendy and the Ink Machine bacon soup. <laughs> Which begs the question, how would you even make a soup with bacon? Ice type. Well, thankfully, Cloyster has shit special defense. Arcanine, I think I'll switch over to Genbu. Actually, wait, this is a trainer battle, so switch to Dungun, then I'll switch to Genbu. Hmm. Actually, while Dungun's out, I'll take the opportunity to land a Thunder Wave. Ah! Gotcha! Watching again, boo. Uh, let's see. I think I'll hit it with a hydro cannon. Wet dog. So we've had a wet cat, wet rat, and now we have a wet dog. Electro. This is a Caesar job. Or. Yeah, it's a Caesar job. I was going to say maybe switch over to Dungun so that I could take advantage of the Volt Absorb ability, but then I remembered, yeah, no. Electro's one of the bomb Pokemon. I'm gonna yeah, want something it's, with bulk. It's a live grenade. It's a live grenade. Let's see. Besides, Caesar has Earthquake. Oh, that's true. The very Earth bends to his will! Hey, there you go. You heading out? Yeah, I'm um, yeah, honest calling. So Alright. I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Later. See ya. Alright. A max revive. Definitely use one. Uh. I have some hyper potions. Let's go ahead and use those. And that one for Kalani. And then a super potion for Genbu. I don't have an elixir in my inventory, do I? I have an ether. Not an elixir. I think I'll give an ether to Genbu for his surf. Got a question, but what is the nature of your Blastoise? Uh, let me pull it up just a second. I believe it is Hardy. So neutral. Neutral, but, I mean, hey, its stats are pretty good to begin with, so... Excuse me. Oh, here's an interesting question. Who? Uh, not who. What show always made you hungry? What show always made you hungry? Hmm. I, I don't. Think a lot of people 
guessing for a lot of people, modern anime is on the list because of how much modern anime has made food look so good. Like, for example, anything by Studio Ghibli. But then I guess, of course, there's also today's menu for the Emiya family, obviously. Yeah, that that's a that's an obvious one for you. <laughs> Honestly, there's one thing I've always wanted to try in anime. And it's Brock's stew. Yeah, that Bro stew that he's always making. What does it taste like? What are, what are the ingredients? What kind of meat does he use for the stew? What kind of stock does he use? Ah oh, man, like, he's always making that shit. I want to try it. If that is his go-to recipe, it has to be good! And yes, this is this is this comes to the fact that I've recently started to actually kind of appreciate stew. Uh let's see. You know the whole thing of like, oh your taste buds change every so often. I'm really starting to appreciate stew. Yeah. I want to try rock stew. Yeah. How about you, MSO? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'd give it a shot. Uh, yeah. Any... Any other foods from shows that you want to try? Like, any show that's just made you hungry? Oh, uh, I thought you were talking about the, uh, the stew. I'm like, yeah, I'd give that a shot. Well, yeah, no, that, as, like, that's my... That make... Yeah, that's my pick. Is that your pick for, like, uh, something in a show that's always made you hungry? I mean... I mean, not exactly, but after watching Pokemon, I've always wanted to try a jelly donut. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, ooh, those ooh. those rice balls did look pretty tasty. Ooh, grab me, grab I'm me. more just curious as to what they taste like, really. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Remember My Hero Academia? Yeah. The food that Mama Midoriya made for Deku when... I think it's like when he got into the school. Right. Like that special treat that she made, or just really anything made by Lunch Rush. Uh, let's see. Ice Punch. My, my brain still breaks regarding Ice Punch. Like,. Thunder Punch and Fire Punch, I can understand because your punches are so fast or so powerful that they generate energy. How does one... How does one punch with a force that creates a lack of energy? I'm just trying to think of other shows that we have both seen. Wait, wait, no, no. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball does have a lot of good food. Yeah. Specifically, Dragon Ball Super, the time they made the ultimate food. Because Bulma, like, asked everyone, hey, there was, like, an object that would make whatever you think of. Bulma pointed a camera at it that was, like, going out worldwide, saying, everyone, think of your favorite food. And it all just compiled into this tiny just little second. ball of food. Like, what the fuck does that taste like? Give me a second, I'll be right back. Dragon Ball just in general makes food look good. It's the nature of the Saiyans. They eat so much, they clearly enjoy what they eat. It's gotta be good. Like, that specific thing. The the universe's best food. The ultimate dish. What does it taste like? I have to know. Is the perfect balance of of the food of like millions of people worldwide. He is good enough to where Beerus was able to smell it across the goddamn cosmos. What does it taste like? What does it smell like? If Beers could smell it from that far away. The odor must have been... Smell must have been something real strong.
Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay, had, yeah. Had yeah, some laundry going on. I just wanted to rant about the ultimate... I was just ranting about the, uh... The ultimate food from Dragon Ball Super and how, like... It's good enough to where Beerus picked up its scent from across the fucking universe and instantly rushed over just to try it. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he is a cat-like person. He has a good nose. Yeah. But, like, if a god of destruction dropped literally everything just to have a bite of it, There we go. Probably catnip. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, TM50. Someone's cat just... Someone's cat just is watching it and also thinks of its favorite food and it's the catnip treats. <laughs> Quick, everyone, think of your favorite food. Me, a troll. Uh, Limburger, bullet, uh, pilk. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, uh... Weed brownies. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just think of all this insane shit. <laughs> Guano. And then everybody has that Ace Ventura moment. <laughs> Guano. I've never had that before. Bat droppings. Or better yet, I think it was Indiana Jones, Chilled Monkey Brains. I forgot about that. I don't get how anybody could even think of that as food. It was it was meant to it was meant to be like a shocking thing. No, I get that, but that's the thing. It's just like why would anybody even think of that as food? Oh my god, someone brought up. Oh, I forgot what someone brought up. I need to check again. There's like someone in the comments that said something. Was, uh, I need to check. Because I briefly saw him like, ooh, that's a good answer, but I, I've already forgotten their answer. I have no brain. Attitude. Now, now, Forrest, of course you have a brain. You just have to use it more often. <laughs> someone, someone said Ratatouille. Forrest just being like, okay, like... I'm not putting up with your shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, yeah, Ratatouille the dish? No, the food from the movie Ratatouille. Yeah, that's what I mean. That food... Not just the dish, all of the dishes from that movie. Ah... Uh... To be fair, all of the food in that movie does look good in a movie about cooking food. You know, theoretically, yeah. you could legitimately say uh, Ratatouille the Rat. Why? Because if Shrek taught us anything, you can cook rats rotisserie style. <laughs> yum yum. <laughs> I forgot about that. Look, look, <laughs> look, both of you have characters that are, like, in some way related to or involved with, like, characters who eat rats in the d, &D game. Because Golag is the son of Reptilia. And uh, Aether is dating Boltfist, and both of them will gladly eat rats. I mean, it kind of makes sense. They're both, like, the predators of rats, to an extent, somewhat. Yeah, because if there's a lizard folk, and lizard folk eat everything, Boltfist is an Aarakocra, so she's, like, a blue... She's a blue eagle, so she eats, like, plenty of uh, small an small animals. Well, I was going to mention that larger blizzards in real life actually eat... Uh, mice and rats and stuff. Yeah. I do gotta ask you, Remy, how did Aint Theory act when the first time he saw Boltfist eat like a bat? They go into a cave and Boltfist just grabs a bat and eats it. Like a fucking candy bar. I'd imagine it. <laughs> okay, the way, the way you said that, my first thought was, uh, 
my first thought was Aether just looking at her and being like, You don't know Ozzy Osbourne by chance, do you? <laughs> I should have seen that coming! <laughs> Why didn't I? It's you we're talking about! Uh, let's see... Thunder Punch! Actually, I can take- I think this is! I also has... Samir, who's named Serpent! Someone who will gladly eat a giant spider! I mean, again, snakes are... Like, the predators of those things. Yeah. It's like, it, it makes perfect sense. Also, Samir would be the least less freaked out. He'd be like, "Bruh, I eat brains. Like, I eat, I eat the brains of people and other creatures. Like, this is not going to stun me." I know. I was thinking, like, yeah, no, you guys, your characters, characters are all like involved with or related to some very to people with very interesting tastes. I recently found out from Twitter about a species of snake that has a, that has a weird tail that actually resembles a spider, and apparently it uses that tail as bait to lure prey closer. Oh yeah, yeah I forget the name of it, but I know what snake you're talking about. It's actually pretty cool. Alright. Uh, I got two off in a row. Third time? Third time! Call this Mega Man X3 because I got the Tri Thunder! I mean. What? Wait, where did that, uh. hit to HP come from? Oh, I think that was before the battle. I think that was a while back. Like, I didn't fully recover Dongan. Oh, okay. Uh, a Chansey. I think I'll switch back to Platinum for this one. Although I do need to heal him. God! Now I'm just, like, thinking... Imagine Serpens and Smear coming, on a, coming up on a town full of, like... That's, like, under... That's, like, under siege by rats. Vermintide? Serpent just goes those full. Two getting into the town of Vermintide. All the brains and rats that they could eat. Serpent just goes full like Pac-Man mode. <laughs> waka 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 waka. <laughs> uh, switching to Caesar. Although technically, I just realized mind flares usually just eat the brains of other sentient creatures. I don't really think they do that with animals. Or other oh, monsters or anything, so yeah. Fair enough. I mean, I guess if they were were, were rats, then I suppose. Yeah. Though, Burp, though to be fair, I did, I did make it canon that they can eat the brains of like animals. It's just that it has far less nutritional value. Hmm. It's sort of like the difference between eating meat and eating a meat substitute. Yeah. Like eating, like lab grown versus like. Right. Natural. The like, difference natural. between eating one a steak and eating tofu. Lot... Yeah, meat versus tofu. One's, one definitely has more flavor and like nutritional value to it, whereas the other is a substitute that can work for a little while. One is food, the other is absolute garbage, and you wonder why people ever eat it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong there. And of course, Samir, though, of course, Samir also has his uh, his supplements that you know numb that numb the cravings. Mm -hmm. Samir is basically taking brain matter pills to like keep to, like keep him from attacking people. Ah, oh, so it's Shin Megami Tensei Four. <clears throat> Samir just starts nomming on someone's head and it's like damn it he forgot his pills again 
He's off his meds. <laughs> and then he just... <laughs> he eats one, he gets an LSD trip, and he's just like, Oh, this guy's actually kind of fucked up. <laughs> the fuck is this? The, the fuck, fuck is, is that? that? The fuck are those? The fuck are those? It makes it makes sense that uh, I like how I was going through that because Danny Man was like a was like a Brazilian criminal. Man Man was full of a bunch of stuff. Brazilian criminal in like the eighties or nineties. Yeah, that's probably not a drug that he that he wasn't on. Uh, Polyworld. I just realized, sentient creatures extends to demons. Yeah. So Samir, so Samir, like, Samir is, when Samir just runs into a bunch of demons trying to attack a village, he's like, Thank you for this meal I'm about to have. <laughs> Ooh, smorgasbord. Pulls, pulls out his rifle. And then Aether's just like, um... Have at it, big guy. <laughs> Samir's always happy when they find, like, evil fae or fiends or celestials. Because it's like, oh, these aren't citizens of... Wait, fae? Aren't... Okay, fae, I imagine, being the one that gives the LSD trip. Yeah. Just Absolutely. Because fae. <laughs> Just because fae. I like, I like to imagine that, uh... Celestial brains taste like angel food cake. Why are we having this conversation? I don't know. Also, hey, Platinum's level 49. Cedra, I think I'll go ahead... Ooh, I could... Switch to Genbu. I thought you were going to say Kalani. No, no, no. Hear me out. Hear me out. If you would give him a chance to... Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's set up a rain dance. Okay, now I'm really intrigued. Ooh, Twister. Oh. That could see thunder. Yep. Oh, okay. So, now I'm switching over to Dungan. Because oh I was going to say, uh, Cedra and Kingdra and stuff, like, yeah, those are basically, like, monsters with Swift Swim, but, yeah. yeah I see what you're trying ping, to do. Remind me of Ping on something. Ping me on something? Yeah, memes, memes and shit posting. Yeah, boom. All right, let me take a look. Oh, ooh, we got it. <laughs> Hot chocolate! You still haven't seen that movie, and I want to show it to you. I've, I've seen a couple clips of it, and it was A, the hot chocolate scene, and B, uh, they're trying to drift the train across the ice to get it back on the tracks while the ice was collapsing under them. Of course it was that, that, of course the second scene was that one. Ah, the Starland! Alright, and... See, I was thinking that, like, oh, the second scene you've seen was probably the, uh, them yanking on the guy's beard so he scares the deer. <laughs> it was caribou. Because it was like, they stopped the train and it was like, Caribou Crossing? We'll never make it in time! They pull on the one guy's beard so that he screams, and the caribou all just clear off the tracks. Hey, if it works, it ain't stupid. They didn't have to do that. They could have just plowed through the caribou like a normal person. Brother, this was meant to be a kid's town. <laughs> to be... Uh, let's see. Here. 
Alright. Bellsprout. Uh, Ice Punch. Well, meant to be a kid's film. Still had that one scene in the puppet car of the train. A which mill. was horrifying. Like, through all these puppets of, like, famous Christmas time story characters, and the Ebenezer Scrooge one just comes to life and starts tormenting the main character. I mean, to be fair, given the story of Ebenezer Scrooge itself, so... Yeah. I do also need to watch that uh, entirely CGI animated uh, Christmas Carol movie. I've only recently- Oh god, no! That one fucked me up as a kid! <laughs> I- I recently saw the clip of, uh, let's, Scrooge let's being- Let's not keep platinum out. Let's not keep platinum out. That victory bell is gonna tear him apart as he is. Yeah. Let's not Kalani, because Kalani has psychic. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, I only recently, like, actually saw the scene of, um, when Scrooge gets visited by Marley's ghost. I uh, yeah, no, that's not... That's not what I'm thinking of. I still like the line that, uh... I still like the line of... Because a... Slight... Discomfort of the stomach... Can cheat your senses. You could be... Uh... A bit of undigested beef. A blob of mustard. A crumb of cheese. Yes, there's more of gravy than of grave about you. I especially remember that from the Muppet version of the story. Because Statler and Waldorf playing the Marley Brothers, they were just like, More gravy than of grave? Where did you get these horrible puns? Leave the comedy to the bears! <laughs> yeah. I'm spinning thinking of the scene where the, uh, Gets it's like the Christmas King, the ghost of a Christmas present. Yeah. Just fucking kills over, starts rotting on the ground. Not the scene I was thinking of. Let's see. Uh, Paris. Paris, Paris, Paris. Uh, I think I'll switch these around. Well, that's the scene I was thinking of because of that movie. I saw it as a kid. Like I said, it fucked me up. Yeah. Uh... Make a horn. Boing. Now I'm just imagining him being like, Hey, I hear you like Hercules beetles. Scoops, its ho scoops it up with his horn and just fucking catapults it. Parasect. Otra vez. <sighs> Never ever let it go. God damn it, now, now the hot target song is stuck in my head. <laughs> Cooking in the bar, now you've got hot, hot chocolate. chocolate. Uh, where that did... seems so good. It really is. Uh, where did there they are? I went right past it. Because of course you did, my dear. Oh, don't you start. <laughs> don't the way... I start what? Hot chocolate. <laughs> I mean, I do want to put on a, I do want to put on a cup of cocoa. I do have some packets of, of um, cocoa mix, but uh, I kind of want. I need, like... I need to clean up. I need to clean out the burner first because it's starting to get very uh, sooty again. Yeah. I want to 
it's been a while, but I want to get myself, like, some actual, like, hot chocolate. Not, not just the cocoa mix stuff, like, actual chocolate drink. Uh, uh, yeah, you got it! Down this way. Uh, thunder punch on a Zubat. Uh, at this rate, Platinum might be the first one to break level 50. Defense debuff. Nice. And screw it. Make a punch. And it missed. And platinum broke fifty. Trying to learn counter. Nah. If I had a focus sash on him, maybe, but. to the lead. <sighs> oh, I just need the... Hey, Silver, real quick, okay. look at the memes and shit posting. Okay, I'll take a look. Hi! <laughs> What is in there? God damn it, MSO. <laughs> you put in there. Memes and shit posting because Jake posted something and I responded. <sighs> That's all I needed to hear. That you get? Why is it you get enjoyment out of pissing me off? Well, come on, it's not that bad. In fact, it's hardly. 
I mean, I was gonna delete it anyway because it's technically politics outside of the uh, containment. So. Uh, yes, please. Do. All right. I'm probably gonna need You guys call. watching at home are probably wondering what was that about. Well, you can join our Discord and find out and join <laughs> in on many other shenanigans. <laughs> oh boy. And like, and like me, wondering what the hell is wrong Check the description of this stuff. stream for a link. <laughs> After that, that doesn't work anymore because they, they changed how invites work. Oh, really? Oh no, it's right there, my Discord server. I mean, unless yeah, you, but that unless you meant something probably, else. Uh, oh. the, that invite probably doesn't work anymore, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. All I right. thought I sent it to. I thought I sent it to being one of those invites that never expire, or does that. Is that somehow affected by the changes? Yes, it is, because that was also done by Garen, and that. And his doesn't work anymore. Uh, like, there's definitely right, a couple people that are like, up, oh, yeah, no, the in this invite will last forever. After Discord changed how invites work, those invites became invalid. Ah. Uh... So, yeah, ac you actually cannot have permanent invites anymore. Oh, lovely. Well, I get why they do that, but that's that doesn't make it any less stupid. I mean, what, were people, like, abusing them? Like... Probably. If, like, if someone got banned, they could just use the same invite? <laughs> yes. Huh. You'd, you'd think that wouldn't actually work. Like, if you're banned, it would just... Oh, well. It's called having alternate accounts. Yeah, that would do well, it. Well, I guess that's true enough. In fact, that that's happened to me in Tugs before, where someone... Tried using an alternate account, they got banned because they're being a problem. And tried using an alternate account to 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 masquerade as a friend to try and make a case for themselves. Uh... Oh, Sky, we're talking about how Discord um, invites work now. You can't have uh, invites that are indefinite. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they changed it at uh, some point. Yeah. Granted, uh, actually, if you're banned from a server, then you are, then that's an IP ban. But I, I, you know, there's all these VPNs nowadays that can yeah. get around that. Yeah. <sighs> The indomitability, the indomitability of the human spirit is both a blessing and a curse. How do they expect you to build a community? Well, I mean, I guess just keep swapping out uh, invites, I guess, once they expire. Yeah. Okay, uh, actually, give me I just... I mean, it's not impossible, it's just a little bit more inconvenient. It's more inconvenient, but also is safer, because that means that if someone was kicked or banned for a good reason, they can't circumvent that. Yeah. Okay, I remember this. Um, if you look on the screen and you see that Pokeball right there, in the OG version, in Pokemon Red and Blue, that was where Moltres would be. Yep. I'm trying to remember how to get past this blockade. It's one of the Pokeballs left behind from all of the you miss the Pokemon throws. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I would actually I was... believe that. Yeah, as I was trying to say a bit before, I'm actually probably going to need to call the housing authority uh, sometime soon to get a new stove. Because I, that thing's gone through so much use and abuse that... Uh, Parts of the like parts of like the bottom down there are starting to chip off. Ooh, yeah, you might need to. You might I need... don't. I don't know if that's a problem for an electric uh, stove top, but don't exactly want to take the risk. Yeah, no, fair. Alright, let's 
see. Uh, I'm gonna look this up. I thought chips, that NPC was out. walking towards you. I'm like, how the hell did he see you from off screen? Yeah. <laughs> it's not. I guess it's not really like a an electric electric stovetop. It's just that it uses electricity. Yeah. Oh. A small chip will not harm the cooktop, and they do make a repair kit. Trying to remember how to get past this part of Victory Road. I cook a chip, a chip stovetop. Uh, Ooh, Marowak. Apparently it's safe, but I'm... Mm. <laughs> Caesar just standing over this Marowak. Greetings, little one. It is I, your emperor. You dare oppose me? Then you have chosen death. How dare you punch me? I am your emperor! That's why the poison point kicked in. How do you think he gets the point? <laughs> <laughs> Say the line, Needle King Jack! <laughs> you found what you want for. Oh, you found the Sonic Say the line, chair. Caesar Jack. Et tu, Brute. <laughs> I love this guy. Stab. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Grammy, I know what it is that you're doing wrong. Yeah. The button up there. Up there in, like, the top left corner of the map? Yeah. Yeah, I... I had that, but, uh... Oh, 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 I get what you're saying now. I think you need that, and then you need to push a boulder elsewhere in here. On this floor. I don't remember for sure, I think... but that makes sense. I think I found the second boulder in question just now. Uh, again, if, I don't know if it's how it works, but it makes sense to me, so... Uh, shockwave. Vital throw. Didn't do much. Caesar is almost at level 46. Ooh, actually, I just realized I might want to um, switch that EXP share off of Platinum. Uh, let's go ahead and give it to... I guess I can give it to Dongan since uh, not gonna be using, not gonna be using her much in uh, Victory Road. Since, bless you. Not gonna be using her much in Victory Road since it's mainly um, since it, since it's mainly uh, cave Pokemon. My daddy's Cookie. Hey. Hello, Cookie. Is that Cookie? Guess this. I 
And there you go! There's the boulder you need to push. For some reason, I can imagine you one day falling off of whatever you're sitting on when you sneeze. Uh, yep, there we go. My sneeze is violent enough, it works. <coughs> and yes, that is also genetic. You think my sneezes are loud? Should have met my dad. Yeah. Oh, I inherited my my loud sneezes from my dad too. Apparently, what I inherited from my dad is that whenever I chew on something, uh, the left side of my jaw specifically makes this weird click. That'll be interesting when we live together. But yeah. My dad, if he was out on the front porch and sneezed, it would echo. Like, <laughs> like you would hear you would hear four echoes. That's how loud he was. Damn. Oh hey, a cookie frog. Yep, cookie frog is here. Now let me do something. Do any of you guys snore? Uh I th I think I, I, do. I do. I think I do. Here's what I do. I I like Flail in my sleep, and I also sleep talk, apparently. Which, the former also hid from my dad. Why I have a long- that's why I have a long pillow and all these stuffed animals. Because I'm a very restless sleeper unless I have something to hold on to while I sleep. <coughs> I think, probably because of my ADHD, while I'm like laying, while I'm sleeping, all like the stimuli doesn't stop, so I just start like moving her all around. But having something to hold on to focuses the stimuli. Okay, here we go. Uh... I actually heard about this one story where this guy uh, apparently he'd go to sleep and he would have like he would either have like seizures at certain points of his night or he would have like a seizure all night long and he'd wake up and like nothing happened. Weird. I'm gonna have to look that up again, but I just, like you mentioning that just made me remember that, uh, that story. Alright, yeah. I believe, yep, okay, this is a double battle. And yet, uh, my psych teacher back in my senior year of high school adamantly believed that, uh, no, I was making shit up when I said that you can move in your sleep. The fuck? Uh, uh yeah. oh. <laughs> hmm. Psychic on one, uh... Shadow Day one, on he put other. five things on the board. Day one, he put five things on the board and said, true or false to each. One of them was... Uh, you can move around in your sleep, and apparently the answer to that one was false. Even though, like, I am living proof that no, that's full of... No, that's bullshit. Yeah, no. No, sleepwalking is proof that that's bullshit. And then my college psych professor, because I took college... I took psychology in college, said that, like, day one, what he said was that... Remember that everything that you learn here may or may not down the line be disproven because because psychology is a constantly evolving science. Like, that immediately sounds more professional than what I say is law. They say, we don't know everything that we still don't know everything about the human mind, so... What may be truth now may become falsehood later when more information is revealed. Yep. Like, infinite, infinitely more professional right off the bat. Uh... Science is always changing, especially if you put up enough cash up front. Yeah. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Uh... <sighs> Dang it, if only Moo Moo Mills existed in this game. But nope, not for another couple of generations. You should be proud of yourself having battled your way through Victory Road so courageously. 
In recognition of your feat, I'll teach you double edge. How about no? No. Alright. And this will probably be where we end it off today because we still have to catch more Pokemon. I'm we'll just... go into like the building and then we'll leave. Yeah, I need to go into the building just so I can heal. And so we have it as a fly point. And so we have it as a fly point. Oof. If that... Getting it as a fly point is arguably the more important thing because we're not going into the Elite Four yet. Yeah, no. At the Pokemon League, you will face the Elite Four all in a row. If you lose, you will have to start all over again. This is it. Go for I, it. Yeah, How about I, not I, yet? I not yet. I think there's also a shop here. So wait, if yep. Moltres isn't on Victory Road, then where is it? It's back no, on the Sevi Islands. In the Sevi Islands. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, I botched that encounter, so I won't be able to access it again until I beat the Elite Four. Yep. But we can get other Pokemon to fill in the 60 that we need before we enter the final uh... portion of this main story. Because we need, we need at least 60 Pokemon registered as obtained in order to get the Nat Dex and unlock the after game. Yep. Uh, I think I'll grab a few uh, full restores. And the thing is, I mean, we actually have what is my uh, main grinding uh, site for levels. You know, you know those uh, black belts and crush girls right yep. outside the uh, hot springs at uh, One Island. Yeah. That is where that is where I go to grind for the Elite Four every time I play this. Huh? Because you have you have access to like five trainers and access to healing. Very. So you can just keep rematching them and healing as you need to. Neat. Yeah. All right. Uh. Oh, right. I would have to get We're taxi out. We're at least level 52 across the board going into... Like, at least level 50 to 52 on everyone before we go into the league. Yeah. Uh... I do. We're close. We're close on most of them. In fact, platinum's already there. It's just that we need to get Don got Don especially needs to gain levels. Yeah, I like just. Bonnie. I just gave her the um, experience share a little bit ago, so. Yeah. Do do do. Plus, it's not like we'll have a hard time against Black Belts and Crush Girls there. Our team is pretty good against fighting, all things considered. Yep. Uh, let me... Let's see. Do, 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 do. Trying to remember. It's Lorelei, Bruno, Koga, Lance. Uh, no, 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 Agatha. Uh, Koga is the... I'm thinking Gen 2. Um, yep. Agatha. Agatha. Yep. Although she might as well be might as well be Koga because she's technically more poison than ghost. But then yeah. again, you can thank there being only one ghost line. <laughs> Let's see. On the plus side for Agatha, I have both Bolin, um, uh, Kalani, and uh, Genbu because of Bite. <clears throat> So yeah, it's just it's just a matter of getting the numbers up to a certain point. Um, I'll go ahead and switch out. Uh, I'll go ahead and call a taxi. I still like that that's become the joke of this stream. Call Oxmith. <laughs> Let's switch up Platinum. He's the one that doesn't need. Any more experience? Yeah. Like, Platinum can just sit back and relax while we train up the others. Yep. So we All fly right. to Vermilion so we can hop on the board to one island. Uh, do, do, do. There we go. 
just this tiny little PG. You know, I forgot this was an actual term, but back to that whole, like, uh, that whole thing about, like, um, ice punch. You're like, oh, how do you make a punch that's a lack of energy? Well, I forgot this term existed. He's cold cocking them. <laughs> I forgot that term was a thing. <laughs> All right. Um, it was uh, one island that that hot spring was on, yeah? Yes. It was Kindle Road, and we'll be able to get there pretty easily. Actually, now would be a good time to put Dungan in the front. Dungan has experience there, so she does so she doesn't need it. No, but she can get experience faster. So put her in slot two then, because we'll also be doing double battles here. Hmm, right, fair. I like that cap you have. Maybe I should wear one, too. I forget if I already fought her or if... Let's see. <laughs> Sky says, Platinum has earned his vacation. Yeah, he pretty much has. Uh... <coughs> Psychic. Psychic. Because it's pot poison and solar beam takes too long to fire. Yeah. I mean, stab either way, so. Yeah. Yeah, stab, but this is a super effective stab. Yep. And it comes out faster. Mm hmm. Do, 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 do. <laughs> The tentacle faints, he's like He he told me Merry Christmas. Why did that hurt me? Simple, he decked your halls. Hey <laughs> Well that's causing some psychic damage. I don't even know Hawaiian. How did I understand what he was saying? I took a break from swimming, only to have you challenge me. Shelter. Uh, solar beam. And it's a good thing I picked Solar Beam because uh, I tried to use Protect. <laughs> Decimated. Cloister. Uh, think it'll try again? Oh, oh no, Supersonic. Land it, Kalani! Kalani landed it! Bullshit, no jutsu! War turtle. Hmm. Uh. Who are we battling? We're just battling some random swimmer on this route. Okay. Comes a bite! Super effective, but didn't do as much damage as I expected. Yeah. Kalani's a champ. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carrie's Zool. Insert villainous welcome, add false claim of expectation, activate hero trapping protocol, explain plan and length, error, 
error. Hero has escaped and defeated Villainess. Thank you, Carrie Zool. Your check's, your check's gonna be in the mail. I think that also briefly made me think of the, uh, that anime, what was it, Love After World Domination? <laughs> How you doing, Carrie Zool? Sorabi! Love After World Domination is an interesting concept, I just don't know how well it was executed because I haven't watched it. Basically, imagine if a Power Ranger fell in love with one of the villains they were fighting. That does sound pretty interesting. <laughs> that just reminded me of that comic I made a while back. Oh no! I, the sexually attractive villainess, have been defeated! And then it, the hero's just like, HA! Fuck you! Well, I mean, yeah, fuck you. But also, fuck you. Yeah, that was gonna be very interesting. <laughs> oh, you go you're going the wrong way, babe. No 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 no, hear hear me out, hear me out. I was trying to check and see if I could get that and the Ah, uh, I guess he was too far away. Dude, life together is going to be a literal sitcom. Like, seriously, we have like all the makings for it. <laughs> it's, it's... Me and Remy are definitely moving in together first, just to make sure that we can live together, and then we'll be bringing you two in. If it was gonna be the plan. I mean, that's assuming, you know, a variety of other factors, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what, no matter what the plan is for me and Remy to move in together. Especially considering we've been talking about this since 2021. Yeah, and everything just seems to get way, get in the way of that plan. Uh, it, it, we've gotten to a point where we're just like, we don't care, we're going to do this. Wow, we totally can't relate to that, can we, Koki? <laughs> oh, that's a QBR beat or something. Oh, can you hear me? Oh, there you are. Hey. <clears throat> uh uh, we totally... we... sounds like us. Yeah. An anime about a hero and a villain sharing an apartment when they're in their civilian lives. I Imagine think there... That. I think there are a couple like that. I want to say that, like, that sounds like such a... Like... I don't know what word I'm looking for. Like, it sounds like such a good concept. It's had to have been done before at least once. I have my like, name. it feels like it would have been it's, done to some extent. It's some one of point. those things. You get this kind of... You get this kind of deja vu thing of, like... Oh, somebody has to have done this before, but then it turns out no, and it's there, like... That's not deja vu. There's another word for it. I'm forgetting what it is. Yeah, no, no, no. I get what you're saying, and I'm, I'm just tr trying to more describe the feeling. Yeah. One one of those things that's like so good you could have sworn it was done before. Turns out it wasn't. Bonk. What a bonking has a kid. Live in La Vida Loca. Live in La Vida Loca. I swear, sometimes just being on these streams turns me upside inside out. Hey yeah yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, uh, my new blender has a mix function, I can make my own butter. Nice. I need to know how to make butter, but I can do it. I think it's like, um, some milk, some salt? I, I forget the exact recipe. Yeah. Guys, my blender has this cool function, but I have no idea how to use it. <laughs> I can make, uh, I can mix other stuff. Like, I could make alcoholless cocktails by just putting in different sodas and, like, some fruit juice. There you go, got a cocktail that has no alcohol because I don't drink. 
There, there you go, MSO. She can, she can make you some pilk. I can make. No. <laughs> no. There's no <laughs> Pepsi in my house. God, I remember this one comic when the grimace shake was, uh, was a thing. <laughs> Basically, uh, what's it called? Uh, Neko arc just, you know, having the grimace shake and grimace just show, just slowly appearing, behind her. And then she just starts pouring milk into it, and Grimace is just disgusted. <laughs> I've, I've no, seen that I'm comic. Too I'm too disgusted to kill you at this point. I, I've, I've seen I... that comic. I... Oh, and Kerry Zool has, uh... Cream and salt. Has graced us with his muted I, presence. I, I actually have an idea. I'm actually gonna do that where I'm gonna... Where I'm gonna buy... Uh, I'm gonna buy pineapple soda... And orange soda, see how they mix. That Wait, Cookie, nice. what were you saying? It sounded like you were trying to say something. I said hi, <coughs> Daddy. <Cole. coughs> yeah, yeah. Of course you'd say that. <laughs> so, thoughts on mixing pineapple soda and orange soda? I've never had pineapple soda, so just trying that would be cool, but yeah, mixing it up would be neat. Yeah. I guess it also like, depends on the kind of orange soda because each one I've had has like its own distinct taste, so it would depend. Yes, like, I, I can crush or sun kissed or what. I can confirm. I've actually done this at work. I've compared different brands of root beer or the difference between like pineapple Fanta and pineapple. Um, I never, I never know if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, Garitos. I have no clue. But some, some just hit me. Screw the screw the pineapple soda. Mixing Sprite and orange soda. Oh god! <laughs> to be fair, Sprite does have is supposed to have a lemon and lime kind of flavor. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I I miss, I'm mixing work. citrus and citrus. Yeah, I guess that could work. I mean, you'd be doing the same thing with pineapple, really. But eh. I like Sprite more than I like pineapple soda. Well, I've never had it, so I can't. Even, I can't even tell you whether or not it's good or anything. Hey, do you know orange soda? Apple soda is that, but with pineapple. Also, we've reached the spot that I grind at, babe. Yeah, I, mean, I, I figured. I enjoyed the Sprite from McDonald's. I mean, oh, it's the exact sprite. same thing, so... You've never, you've never had just regular Sprite? I mean, it's kind of the ooh, same thing. Ooh, like ooh, I... ooh, all four of them. No, it... Okay, right. Okay, so I'm gonna fight you if you say that McDonald's Sprite is like regular Sprite. I will <laughs> actually fight you. No, it is. It's totally the same. No, it There's isn't. literally no difference whatsoever. I dipped my sword no. in that McDonald's Sprite and that motherfucker started charging. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's Sprite is worse. I don't know if you guys just get the flat stuff or what, but it, it does taste different. Well, it's probably because uh, you you drink your sprite your sprite from you know a can or a bottle, whereas we got our sprite from a bag. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh let's see. I think. I'll anyway, it's exactly and... the same. You know how? Because it's unhealthy, sugary. Well, sugar water. It's exactly yeah. the same. It's gonna get you diabetes no matter what. <laughs> Ooh, seismic toss on the pain know. tears of God in the McDonald's Sprite. <laughs> well, I have an idea. I have an idea. I put in pineapple juice. I put in lemonade. I put in... But I... In, and I've already mixed banana juice. So I have a banana... Pineapple and lemon uh, juice. Do you like pina coladas? Lada. And getting caught in the rain? In the rain. I'm not much into yoga. I am I into have got champagne. Half a rain. <laughs> God, we are. That that song is so dumb. It really is, because if you pay attention to the lyrics, it turns out it's about a couple that actually tried to cheat on each other. 
Yeah. It's double infidelity that's that ends well because they find out, oh, we were both looking for something new. Let's just completely ignore the fact that we both were willing to cheat. <coughs> oh, I could make my own tropical punch. Uh, I just need pineapple, grapes, mango. Go full jungle juice. <laughs> no. Pineapple. Actually, my first plan is to actually make juice using that uh, fruit salad that I can get at Stop and Shop. It's mm. gonna grab that and gonna like it'll blend. What wanna blend into? I have no clue because it's grapes, it's blueberry, pineapple, watermelon, and regular melon. I have no clue what that's gonna taste like. I have no clue that's gonna taste like. It's probably gonna be good though, because fruit is good. <clears throat> there used to I'm be. Basically, I'm basically gonna be that YouTube channel with a blend, <laughs> but with but with food. I'm like, how will this? How will this taste? How will it taste if I just put these two things into the blender together to make a juice? Carizel's making we'll a start Marla. our own version of Will It Blend. Carizel's <laughs> making a Marlin Webb reference. You know, it's the most beautiful thing is a watermelon inside a watermelon. Oh my god! Then just imagine us starting a YouTube channel. And I'm like, hi, today we're gonna put watermelon, a guava, and orange into this drink. How will it taste? We'll find out. Sips, vomits everywhere. <laughs> Success! Video end. <laughs> I just realized something. This means this means I could sneak pickles into Remy's food. Oh God, no! Pickle juice poured into the eggs. Oh no! We're giving her too much power. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Oh, I just noticed uh, we are at time, so. Uh, on that note, uh, let me go ahead and save. I won't actually do it, by the time way. Time to take a break until next time in the hot tub. <laughs> time, time to take a break. In the meantime, Mem is going to strangle me for even thinking of giving him pickles. Silver. What? I got something for you. Oh. Let me post it in no mic. Alright. Uh, in the meantime, I'll go ahead and see... Uh... Thanks. It's in no mic chat, you said? Yes. <laughs> yes! Gummy pickles, <laughs> wow. That's, uh, that's something. And on that, that note, let's that go has ahead. To be ab that has to be absolutely horrible, but that's also really fucking funny. Like, that can't taste good. Well, it's out of stock at Walmart. Good. <laughs> I don't think that's good. If it's out of stock, that means it's popular. They're gonna get more. Yep. Shit, you're right. Quick, someone post Pickle Rick. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, let's see. You know, given my, you know, given that my name is Richard. Um, no. Pickle Rick. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> uh, let's. <laughs> he has the boot trick for the gummies, apparently. <laughs> no! Ugh! Ugh! I guess we're posting cringe food now. Uh, <laughs> Looks like. No, we are not. No, we are not. Keep going, Koki. They no! must. They must answer for. Koki their... hasn't even posted. Oh yeah, she posted like the gummy pickles, but yeah. <laughs> Keep going. They must answer for their pickle crimes. 
Avoid! 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 You know what? I was going to... Pickle candy. <laughs> I, I, I was going to raid with our default message, but no. We're, we're, we're raiding with pickle crimes now. That is going to raise so many questions, and people are probably going to assume the worst. <laughs> avoid! 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 No! No! Why am I catching strays? All right. Uh, let's go ahead and raid <laughs> yeah. Slim Kirby, who is currently playing some Pokemon Legends Arceus. So I'm looking at my uh, recommended channels. Hey, why don't we uh, why don't we go raid Amaranth? Oh yeah. <laughs> Kill me. I don't know why the hell she's in my recommended channels, but yeah. Okay, I've seen that actually. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. I've seen. That. I haven't tried it, but it's not that. It's not that horrifying. All what right. Is it, macaroni and cheese gummies. I've seen okay, that. Okay, I haven't heard of those, but. Alrighty. All right. Uh, I'm. Let's see. Uh, no. Tomorrow. No, Gary, no. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. I'm still a little confused about it, but uh, we may be able to have one last stream before Christmas, and that stream may actually be taking on the uh, Elite Four. Well. I mean, so what is your boss like closing the uh, closing up shop early or something? We're definitely gonna be closing. Uh, uh, we're definitely gonna be closed on Christmas Day. I'm not so sure about Christmas Eve. <laughs> All right. What? Uh, what? 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 Let's go ahead and raid while Forrest is suffering an aneurysm from pure cringe. I hate you. <laughs> Just imagine when we're all living together. You get to actually eat this. <laughs> no, nope, 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 nope. Never mind about the friend house idea. Nope, nope, nope. Backing you, out, backing out. You nope, brought nope. this on yourself. It's too late. It's too late. Nope, you nope, can't nope, do nope. it. Nope, it's too late. You brought this on yourself. Well, I can back out whenever the fuck I want. I can back out of this friend house idea whenever the fuck I want.